Hi, and welcome to Why Australia. I am Lisa Ross Meisel, owner of Boomerang Escapes and your certified Aussie travel specialist with Australia Tourism. Uh, each Sunday, I come to you here on the Australia Travel Expert page to share why Australia and how incredible this destination is. We have been in the Northern Territory and will continue there uh, today as well. But before we get started, as usual, I'd like to share a little Aussie lingo with you, uh, teach you some of their slang, phrases, rhyming. Uh, today, um, we have the, the word, the bush. The bush means unspoiled land beyond the city with natural vegetation. Also, go to bush is to get away from all your troubles. For example, Bruce's gone bush. Uh, so it's basically um, can escape your troubles or anything they consider kind of like when we say um, the country to them outside the city where you've got more of your land space, they consider the bush. Um, so that is our Aussie lingo. You will also find that in our weekly eZine Adventure um, newsletter. Uh, feel, uh, feel free to reach out to me if you would like to be included in that email list. So today with the Northern Territory, what I'd like to do is talk about or, or mention some of the highlighted events that have happened during um, the year in the Northern Territory. One of the great things to consider when scheduling your trip down under uh, to any of the uh, states or territories of Australia is to time your trip with um, one of their main events, especially um, if you want to really mix with the culture, uh, learn more about the people, or attend something that you may be interested in here at home. I know we'll touch on a couple things that involve horses and cars, so if there's some, some something like that that you're an enthusiast about, it's a great opportunity to include something like that in a foreign destination um, and experience it with them. So um, staying, like I said, in the Northern Territory, we have pointed out that if you look here, this line from here all the way up to uh, the green space because the top part, the top end is tropical in nature where this lower part, the red center is the desert environment. So that's where we are in Australia, really the heart of uh, the country often it is called. So I'm going to begin with Alice Springs. We've been talking about Alice Springs as a, a good um, spoke point for uh, excursions and activities. And you can time it, like I said, with these um, highlighted events. Of course, I'm probably not mentioning all of them. I pick some of them, the more famous ones to mention and things that are happening as we move forward into 2020. So there's still time to schedule a 2020 trip to Australia. Uh, I do prefer to work with people um, six, nine months out, even 11 months out, as far as getting best airfare pricing and best availability, especially if we're looking at any times during peak season. But if you're looking for say summer, um, end of next year, um, even spring at this point, we could still create um, a wonderful custom itinerary for you for uh, Australia 2020. So starting with Alice Springs and the surrounding area, uh, May, May 1 to 3 of 2020 is the Wide Open Space Festival. This is an annual music and art and desert culture festival that has been going on since 2009. It's held at the Ross River Resort, which is um, probably about an hour outside of Alice Springs. As we move on into the summer, or their winter, I should say, um, at the end of June, uh, June 28th and 29th, is the Alice Springs Beanie Festival. Uh, this is a unique event bringing crafters together to celebrate this head warmer. So when I'm referencing beanie, I'm talking about that style of winter cap that you wear. And this has been going on since 1997, and you can estimate over 7,000 beanies will be available or on display at this event in June. Uh, in August, um, actually from August to October, is the Desert Festival. Uh, that runs from August 29th to August 13th, so now we're in spring there. Uh, this will have story, song, and unique lifestyles of the red culture, and it is presented by the Red Hot Arts Central Australia. 
Um, so it's just a cultural experience, um, bringing their stories, their songs, and their lifestyle of living in the Red Center. As we move on into September, or this one crosses over, also we're still, like I said, in Alice Springs, or the surrounds, is the Red Center Nats, N-A-T-S, capitalized. This is an event that happens uh, over their Father Day weekend, so they celebrate Father's Day week weekend, um, or Father's Day, the first weekend in September, excuse me. And this is going to be for anything on four wheels. So for those of you that are car enthusiasts, there's going to be street machines, show cars, hot rods, classics, exotics. Um, this is definitely for the car enthusiast. Um, so that takes care of Alice Springs. Alice Springs in relationship is right about here, pretty much right here in the center of Australia. We're now going to jump up to Darwin. Darwin, as we've mentioned, is um, the capital of the Northern Territory. Um, this is, my dates kind of bounce around here as I was pulling this off for the show today. But in November, and this has actually been running since November of this year and will continue through April. So there's only a short window left to catch this event. Um, it is the Tropical Light Show by artist Bruce Monroe. He has um, eight illustrated sculptures, illuminated sculptures that are featured there and they will be featured till the end of April in 2020. There is also in May in the Darwin area, the People's Choice Bass in the Grass. This is the longest running music festival that the area has. Uh, also, um, July, uh, runs about a week in July, is the Darwin Fringe Festival. This is an arts festival um, covering every genre of art. I think over a hundred uh, shows are during, um, different art shows during the, the week. Um, then, uh, for those of you that are into horses, there is the Great Northern Darwin Cup Carnival that runs July 4th to August 3rd, a month long. It's the largest social event of the year. Uh, they do um, even have a, a fashion, uh, the hats, the clothing, um, and all that is announced uh, thing. And right on the, the heels of that are running at the same time, also in July, is the Bet Easy Darwin Triple Crown Supercar. So again, another car event. Uh, this is a huge week of racing there in the Northern Territory. And um, also on the lines of a racing, but a different kind happening in July is the Darwin Lions Beer Can Regatta. And beer that is like in uh, drinking beer. Uh, this is an annual event. It's been happening since 1974. It's family friendly. The vessels that participate in the race are made from cans. Uh, they also can use plastic bottles, uh, milk cartons, etc. Um, so there's lots of different um, family friendly activities to do and um, lots of an imagination that goes into creating these uh, beer can regatta, uh, beer can vehicles. Uh, still in Darwin uh, in August, so as we're getting to the tail end of winter up there, uh, from August 6th to 23rd, 2020, is the Darwin Festival. Uh, this combines um, local and international talent. You'll have everything from cabaret, theater, dance, visual arts, and concerts during um, the days that this festival runs. So... Um, Lots to do in Darwin and the surrounds, like I said, with it being the capital, um, lots going on there. Um, we've mentioned this back in Uluru, uh, Ayers Rock, something that we did mention when we had our video on that was the Field of Light. It is also by the same artist that did the Tropical Lights. It's at Bruce Monroe. This has been running for some time, but it is due to end uh, December 2020. So it's supposed to run one more year. Uh, it was actually extended. It was originally only going to run a year. It's been running um, a couple years now, but it is due to, like I said, to end. Uh, it is the largest um, light installation or field of light installation. Um, pretty cool. And it can be combined uh, with a dinner event there to experience this um, when you go to Uluru. And last but not least, Catherine. Catherine is up here again in the tropical area by Darwin. Uh, in the winter there at the beginning of June is the Barunga Festival. It's an annual event. Um, there's the Barunga uh, 
uh, art prize. Uh, there's a didgeridoo, comp didgeridoo competition. Um, and, you know, that's the long, if you've seen it, I don't have one here to pull out for you, uh, musical instrument that the Aboriginals use. Uh, very cool, unique sound. I, I actually love the music from that. And there's a bunch of sporting displays during this, um, like the AFL football, um, you name it. They, so there's a bunch going on during that weekend uh, to keep you activated. So if you're ever interested when we talk about this and highlighting the festivals at any time when we're um, customizing your vacation experience to Australia and you're interested in maybe including some of this, I know for uh, past uh, clients, I have done some things particularly with sailing. Some of my clients that are into sailing, uh, my clients that are into tennis and things like that, uh, specifically have arranged for them to be in the area uh, during one of the events that's scheduled. So when we're talking about the Northern Territory, uh, Alice Springs, Darwin, Uluru, those are kind of your hopping off points to do your day trips and really get your uh, feel of the Northern Territory and Australia's Red Center and Top End. And that is it. That's a highlight of some of the events that are happening in 2020. Uh, if you would like to know more, please feel free to comment below or email me at lisa at boomerangescapes.com. Otherwise, enjoy the rest of your Sunday and I will see you next week. Take care.